Hey ladies, periods can be annoying and make you miserable. When the pain hits, it can even make you miss work or school. Your daily habits throughout the month have a huge impact on your periods. In today's video, let's discuss surprising things that could be contributing to your period pain. Will those crazy deadlines at work affect you? What about that chocolate bar you had last week? We're discussing all that and more. Number 1. Start Exercising What if we told you that you can do something right now that can change the course of pain when that crimson wave hits you? Exercising can have an immediate positive effect on your period pain. While you might feel like curling up into a ball and being all cozy in a corner of your bed, staying active will help promote blood flow. Try to pick a form of physical activity you like. It can be a class at the gym like kickboxing, dance class, or aerobics. You'll start feeling stronger and improve your physical fitness. If all this feels like too much, just start with a walk or a light jog around your block. Doing a light workout actually helps during your period. Pilates and swimming are some of the top choices for light exercise. High intensity training or weightlifting can contribute to more inflammation and cause bleeding in some women. A study found that practicing yoga for 30 minutes every day for 12 weeks showed a significant improvement in menstrual pain for a few women. Exercising will improve blood flow in the abdominal area. It will also stimulate the release of a chemical called beta endorphin. This chemical can double as a natural pain reliever. Number 2. Stay Hydrated Staying hydrated is the easiest thing you can do to feel better during your period. Water is by far the best drink on this planet. A lot of factors like season, age, BMI, occupation, and temperature alter the amount of water you drink every day. About 60-90% to 90 of adolescent females experience painful menstruation or dysmenorrhea in medical terms. It is responsible for the loss of 600 million hours of work in the US. That would mean losing a lot of money. But these stats can be reversed by modifying your lifestyle. There is a lot of fluid loss with every bleeding spell. Replenish the lost fluid by having 3-4 to four liters of water daily. Dehydration can make you lethargic and cause muscular pain even in the tummy muscles. Before your actual period arrives, the hormone estrogen is on the rise. That can cause water retention and make you feel bloated. When your period begins, a hormone called progesterone increases, which has the opposite effect of estrogen. That means it lets go of all the water that your body might have retained. Staying well hydrated can make your period more bearable and shorter. A study found that women in the reproductive age group who drank more than 1,600 milliliters of water every day experienced shorter menstrual bleeding. The intensity of pain had also subsided. So ladies, listen to your body and start sipping on that miracle drink known as water. You can also try some peppermint tea that will be easy on your digestive tract. Chamomile tea can have the same calming effect or try apple cider vinegar. Number 3. Don't skip sleep do you feel so exhausted that you have trouble sleeping, especially on your period days? This is because of a spike in the hormone called progesterone. It can cause fatigue and increase basal body temperature. It becomes hard to drift off because you're naturally warmer. A good 8-hour sleep can counteract those pain hormones and make you feel refreshed. Establish a nighttime routine and try to be consistent with the time you try to hit the bed. Needless to say, there should be no screen time before bed. It might just signal your brain to stay awake for longer. Number 4. Stop Smoking We are all aware of the hazards of smoking. Young girls often believe that smoking cigarettes can help them drop weight. The tobacco industry also advises smoking to be glamorous and attractive and a stress reliever for some. 23 million females smoke cigarettes in the US alone. Most of them are between 25 to 45 years of age and still have active menstruation. There are just so many toxic substances present in cigarettes, nicotine being the most dangerous of all. It narrows the blood vessels and reduces blood supply to your organs and uterus. Less blood means less oxygen and uncontrolled contractions of the uterus. A study showed that women who smoked had a greater chance of menstrual disorders and dysmenorrhea. You could also be at a higher risk if you're inhaling cigarette smoke. Quit smoking as early as possible. If having a baby is part of your plan, you must be very cautious of this dangerous habit. It can cause all types of cancers, from breast to cervical to vulvar cancer. As long as we're on the topic of cancer, watch our video on 12 cancer-causing foods you shouldn't eat. Now back to our discussion on all things period pain. Number 5. Limit Caffeine Your morning cup of espresso can be the ultimate pick-me-up, but not when you're in pain. Caffeine is extremely addictive and going off caffeine can seem impossible. It can also hide in foods like soda, chocolate, energy drinks, and desserts. 
Caffeine can narrow the blood vessels that feed your uterus. The tightened vessels carry less blood and cause more pain and cramping. Caffeine also causes bloating, adding to the pain sensation. If you're a regular coffee drinker, getting rid of caffeine might be torturous. Instead, try tapering the dose gradually. So if you drink four cups a day, try to reduce it by two. You may have some withdrawal symptoms initially, but try adding substitutes like smoothies and protein shakes. Green smoothies can be rich in antioxidants and give the added benefit of fiber. Number six, reduce stress. Have you noticed some months you hardly care about what's going on below the belt when you're on your period, but you will be in terrible pain when pressured at work or are just stressed about something in your life? Balancing work and life can be stressful, and stress is a huge factor that causes more menstrual pain. Stress can show up in many forms. From running late to family, stress is everywhere. Your brain releases a hormone called cortisol in response to stress. It further acts on every part of your body, even your reproductive hormones. Chronic stress is related to more period pain. A study found that a few women who experienced more stress before their periods showed more severe symptoms of menstrual pain. It's important to identify your stressors and find coping mechanisms. Do some relaxation exercises. Take a warm bath or shower. Meditate, listen to music, or simply watch a lighthearted movie. Just calm your nerves. Number seven, cut down on alcohol. You might want to control your drinking if you want a pain-free period. Studies have linked alcohol as a risk factor for painful menstruation. It affects the ability of your liver to metabolize hormones, causing an increase in estrogen levels. Too much estrogen can cause more menstrual bleeding and pain. If you're used to having a glass of wine daily with your dinner, you could alter your menstrual cycle. Alcohol causes dehydration. Your body will have intense pain with additional dehydration. Number eight, watch what you're eating. While you might crave a bag of chips to lift your mood, it could worsen the pain. There's a big list of foods that you should completely avoid to have a happy period. All those carb-rich foods like bread, pasta, and pizza lack fiber. Fiber-rich foods act as a sponge to soak up all the female hormones that indirectly cause pain. Therefore, whole grains like brown rice, oatmeal, and quinoa should be your best friends. A few fruits and vegetables are known to decrease inflammation during periods. Stay away from fatty meats and dairy, too. Studies have shown that arachidonic acid found in these foods stimulates the production of a pain-causing chemical called prostaglandin. A diet high in fish, eggs, vegetables, and fruit will give you relief from pain. Cutting down on salt and sugar is equally important. Salt can cause water retention and bloating that can worsen existing pain. Sugar and fat can increase the thickness of the uterus. It will take more effort to shed it when your period starts, which means more pain. Instead, go for anti-inflammatory foods like berries, tomatoes, bell peppers, ginger, garlic, and cherries. Eating a diet that is rich in omega-3 fatty acids will also be helpful. So try to include fish, nuts, beans, and dark leafy greens to have a balanced diet. Low fat, high fiber is what you want. Number nine, other medical conditions. At times, you could be doing everything correct and still experience painful menstruation. This could indicate some underlying medical issues that might have gone unnoticed. A few conditions like PCOS or polycystic ovary syndrome, where multiple cysts are formed in your ovary, can be the reason for pain. Fibroids or non-cancerous lumps in the wall of the uterus can be another reason. Likewise, pelvic inflammatory disease and endometriosis go undetected for years and cause pain. You are not alone in this battle against pain. Let your doctor know you're struggling with cramps. They'll be the best judge to regulate your condition. Hormones act as the control box of our bodies. When this hormonal system is all out of sorts, it can wreak havoc on your system. Let's keep the conversation going with a couple more hormone-related videos, shall we? Watch nine symptoms of hormonal imbalance in women or nine natural ways to balance your hormones. Go ahead, click one, or better yet, watch both and learn more about staying healthy. What do you do to get rid of period pain? Let us know in the comments below.